Hey everyone, welcome to the live stream in Hanoi, Vietnam. Today's date is Thursday, April 11, 2024. The time's about 6.45 p.m. Temperature's 82 Fahrenheit, 28 Celsius. I'm in a cafe right now, just hanging out in a uh, new area of Hanoi that I've never been to before. More specifically, we're in the um, western side of the city. To give you a better perspective, I'm going to open my Google Maps and show you. So that's the old quarter and this is where I am today in the western side and that's the uh, West Lake another like trendy area but this area where I am now I heard there's like a lot of skyscrapers here and development this is uh, my first time venturing off in this part of the city um, Last time when I went live, I was down here. Uh, yeah, down here, Ocean Park area. And Eco Park, I think, was here. So Hanoi, as you can see, it is a pretty large city. And there's still other areas around Hanoi too, <laughs> like Ha Jiang, there's Hai Phong, which is by the water, um, Ha Long, which is famous for the Ha Long Bay area, and the cruise is there. There's uh, Nam Din and Ninh Bin, which are famous for like their natural geography. So definitely a lot to see here. Even in Hanoi, there's a lot to see. But um, let me start walking around. I've been in this cafe for a little bit, it's cozy. The name of this place is called Paris Gateau, I guess, Gateau. My French is not good, as you could tell. Benno, could see yourself living in Ocean Park long term, especially Ocean Park One. Goodbye, see you again. The stairway's low. Yeah. Hi. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Let's go, we gotta pull. So where I am is actually a Korea town of sorts. I didn't know it until I got here. But it's actually pretty cool. Another cafe. See, look, Korean language. And uh, over here is also a uh, hotel in Korean. Marjorie says, pretty walk into the trees. Yeah, this is a pretty nice area. I'm surprised. It's 
someone's locking their back wheel of the scooter. It's a, it isn't the first time I've seen someone lock their scooter up. I guess scooter theft happens here. Yeah, these people lock their scooters too, the back wheel. But I never saw that in Taiwan. Kmart uh, market. I'm gonna actually go to the crosswalk. Not that it matters that much, but at least I'll be seen easier. I'm walking here. There's more Korean businesses down that block. But I haven't been down this way yet. And especially at nighttime, I waited. Just because during the day, these places weren't really that busy. And I was like, hmm, wonder how this place is at nighttime. Wow, this uh, restaurant coming up is actually pretty busy. Nya Hang Otugi. Hopefully it's not too bright for the screen. Even hear Korean just walking around here. This looks like a Korean barbecue restaurant. Yes, Dwayne, I've heard about it. Look at this, Korean chicken. Music Bridge. This is a Korean music school. I can hear the piano being played. Dwayne asking how long were the Koreans in Vietnam? Um, they've probably been here for a while, but I didn't know there was a concentration of Koreans in this area of Hanoi.
This just says soul. I want to go back up that block that I um, skipped and I wanted to show you. Hopefully this street connects to it. I think it will connect to the block that I wanted to show you. Looks like there's a major intersection up there. This is a public school. Let me cross the street. It's more active over there. Here's a Korean barbecue spot. Original Korean barbecue? What makes it not original anymore? They look delicious. Stevie B says I need a good pair of running shoes. No, uh, walking shoes are what I need. <laughs> running shoes are designed differently than walking shoes. Enjoy Korean barbecue your way. What place is this? Makchang Dujuk. Comes complete with a mascot. Although it looks like more of a uh, 
someone who's convicted. Goji House. Buffet for 379,000 dong per person. I'm walking here. It's Alabama jail suits. What is blue label? Oh, it's a uh, fashion brand. And their stuff looks pretty good. At least just eyeing it from a distance. And the thing is, with this Koreatown, I didn't really find too much information about this place online. It was only me when I came here. I was like, whoa, this is a Korea town in Vietnam. Roxanne is loving my trip. How am I doing with the heat and humidity? I'm doing very good with it. If I can handle Thailand, I can handle Vietnam. Thailand's humidity was um, much higher than Vietnam's. This restaurant has Vietnamese, Chinese, and Korean. I would think like any of these restaurants would be good. I may have to try it someday. Naharu barbecue. Discount of 50%. It's funny they have this big discount in English and then the rest is in Korean. What if they don't know English? Well, I guess it's easy to figure out. Big 50%. It has to be a discount of something. Haven't had some good Korean food in a while, ever since um, I left Taiwan. Hana massage. And there's Hana coffee next to Hana massage, which is very, very convenient. <laughs> After a massage, it's actually very important for you to hydrate because your body takes a lot of stress and you need the liquids to uh, get rid of the like excess lactic acid and um, toxins from your body. That's why I always try to drink water or tea or something.
one market Korean and Vietnam food. I know this character, it means water. It's Korean restaurant after Korean store after Korean restaurant here. Quite impressive. And I could tell this is a upscale area too. There's a lot of high-rise buildings around here. You see? Busan hot dog. To my knowledge, there isn't a uh, Chinatown here in Hanoi, but now I know there's a Korea town. There's another Korean restaurant. This building over here, Landmark 72, is the tallest building in Hanoi. It's only surpassed by Landmark 81, which is in Saigon. That's the tallest building in the country. And I actually went up Landmark 72 building. You'll see. Which offered a pretty good view also. Here's Wuri Bank, which is a Korean bank. I've seen them before in the United States. Some street food. That looks like boiled corn. Hey, thank you, Roxanne Para, with $9.99. You always bring a highlight to my day. Thank you. Appreciate it, Roxanne. You're welcome. Glad you're watching. Thank you for the support. Vitamin Lounge. Actually looks pretty nice in there. Got a chicken roasting here. Fennel says, did you find any better SIM card or is the daily cap as good as it gets? I could probably get a better um, value, but to be honest, I think it's fair enough to 
leave it as is. I don't think I'd really like to live stream for much longer than that anyway, every day. I actually went inside a Viatel store and extended my service. And it was cheaper at the Viatel store compared to the airport. The airport charged me 290,000 dong and the Viatel store charged me 125,000 dong. So I couldn't believe it when I went to recharge my service how much less it was at the Viatel store. At the airport, 290,000 dong was $12, no, um, $11.60 according to my app. And then I just recharged it at the Viatel store. It was $5. It is uh, insane how much of a difference the price is between the airport and the cell phone store. And I thought the prices at the airport were actually fairly reasonable for data too, when converted to US dollars. But then at the phone store here, it's like, whoa, $5 from $11.60. This is the, uh, the country that I had to pay the least for cell phone data. It is unbelievable how inexpensive it is. And now I know why all those people at the airport were promoting their SIM cards and their plans because they're charging more than double what the phone store would. But then again, I get it too. You come off the plane, um, people don't know any better like me, or maybe they just want the convenience and they pay $11.60 versus $5 for a cell phone plan. This person has a loud megaphone. Trillionaire assets saying, hey, how is Hanoi compared to Ho Chi Minh City? I'm from the US, is Vietnam a hot spot for expats? I'm seriously considering relocating in the future. Southeast Asia is the place to be. Well, it really depends on your circumstances, what you want. Um, I found that Hanoi in general is less expensive than uh, Ho Chi Minh City. So if price is a concern, you can look into Hanoi. However, there are a lot of quality of life issues in Hanoi, such as the air pollution which makes it undesirable. I have to admit, I don't really like the air pollution here. I'm gonna go into the shopping mall, by the way. But you really have to like weigh the differences. Vietnam really isn't a place for like expats as much as a place like Thailand. There's way more expats in Thailand than there are in Vietnam. This is not really an upscale, upscale shopping mall, but it's in this neighborhood. Kevin Wu is saying Americans like to retire and live in Southeast Asia. Hey, I can understand why. It is definitely very affordable here. It's 
go to the top floor. We're getting some good connection inside this shopping mall. I'm impressed with Viatel cell phone service. I can't believe it in, uh, in New York. You go inside a restaurant or a shopping mall and the connection starts to dip sometimes. Here, it's amazing. So far, my experience with Asia and the cell phone service is remarkable compared to the United States. It's so weird. You go into a building, the connection drops in New York. Even in Los Angeles, I'm outside and I had connection issues in a lot of places. But here, it's like $5 SIM card. You get connection everywhere. Blows my mind. Oh man, escalator is broken. Oh. Okay, this one's not broken at least. Show you in our ass that says, cool, thanks for your expertise. I'm considering Thailand and Vietnam. I like the infrastructure better than the Philippines. I've never been to the Philippines. I've only uh, seen like pictures and video and heard about experiences there, but I had heard that the infrastructure isn't as built up as Thailand or Vietnam, especially for uh, internet service, I heard. Um, Getting cell phone coverage can be a little bit tricky in spots in the Philippines, as well as um, high-speed internet. So this is the top floor of the shopping mall. It's called the Garden. There's still two more floors to go up, by the way. That wasn't the last escalator. I'm uh, concerned how little foot traffic this shopping mall is getting, though. Meanwhile, you go to the newest mall, which is the Lote Westlake Hanoi. That one is full of people. Yasser says that place looks nicer than all the malls here in Miami. Really? You think so? No way. The Aventura Mall has a lot more going on than this one. As well as Brickell City Center.
Look at this, this is a home goods store. They're even selling rice cookers and vacuum cleaners. They've got a, looks like a pressure cooker over there. I'm not sure if it's Instant Pot, which I use in uh, the United States. I wish I could carry an Instant Pot along with me, but that's kind of impractical to pack in a luggage. This is an English language center, Apollo English. And then you got a furniture store up here. Looks like nice quality sofas or couches. Louis Ching Song says, looks like the shop won't survive much longer, completely empty. I, uh, I like to see how this mall is like during the weekend. Because right now it's understandable, it's a Thursday evening. So you won't really get that much traffic. BHD Cinemaplex. And then I think there's a uh, children's entertainment area over to my right. Yeah, I can't imagine the cinema is gonna be busy if the mall didn't have that much foot traffic. I mean, even this children's area is not really that busy. It'll be great if you bring a child here though, you could like have any machine you want to play because there's not that many people here. But Dwayne asking what time does the mall close? I have no idea. But I guess if any of you are watching from Hanoi, you can come check out the Garden Shopping Mall. It's not that crowded and not as popular as some of the other ones around here. Seems to be pretty nice still, even though it's not like the newest or the most high end. Marjorie says they got the claw machine. They sure do. But you would need a lot of people with those claw machines to get your money back from all the expenses. There's an ice cream uh, stall here. Yo Creamy. Actually, what the shopping mall is good for is a public restroom. So I'm gonna use the public restroom. Why not? I'll be back after I use the restroom. Don't go away.
Okay, hand dryer wasn't working. The water pressure on the sink was way too much, but it was a functional restroom. And there were no dividers between the urinals too. If you're wondering, but the restroom was empty, so having no dividers between the urinals wasn't that much of an issue. Looks like they sell New Balance sneakers here. I could uh, look into this if my current shoes, they start to wear down and I need, need them to be replaced. Hey, the gap is here. Sale up to 50% off. Dwayne, you like this small? It is a nice mall, it just doesn't have as much foot traffic. And uh, looks like they have several vacancies also. This is the scooter parking area. And they have a parking lot also. Ali says maybe busier on the weekend. It could be. I'm wondering that too. I take a walk towards these tall buildings. One thing you have to be careful of is all the holes and elevation changes on the sidewalk and on the street, especially when it's dark like this, it's hard to spot. I actually forgot to bring my flashlight with me. I wish I did. Steve says, crazy, I forgot the light. It comes in handy in Vietnam more than you think.
There's a pedestrian crossing here. I uh, want to go that way, so this guy's going for it, or maybe not. <laughs> Vietnam, where there's no traffic lights and you gotta cross the street. I'm running across the street here. Woo! And my microphone came off. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Let me fix my mic. I'm not running across the street again because my mic will come out. I might make it, but my mic won't. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that should stay on better. OMG! Crossing the street in Vietnam is crazy! I'm gonna stay here forever and not cross the street because it's so dangerous. Yikes, yikes, yikes. All right, I can go after this scooter. It's actually really, really light. This is easy mode right now. Look, they're so slow. If you can't cross when there's this less little traffic, I can't help you folks. But there are instances in Vietnam where you can wait and wait and wait and the traffic gets lighter. You don't have to go when there's so busy traffic. So how many of you would cross when I did, just now? Or you still think that's too dangerous? Let's see how this person does. She's going, and there's scooters coming. Wow. Motorbike rider goes in front of the pedestrian. That's how it works in Vietnam. Motor vehicles have the right of way over pedestrians, I find. Actually, I don't even think in Vietnam there is a concept called right of way. It's if you can clear it and uh, you can go. Yikes, this driver is next to me. <laughs> Started their car and driving. Woo! It's Vietnam, folks. In New York, you would get road rage and tell these people, Yo, man, you cut me off. You were there, I'm in the crosswalk, I got a right of way. Here in Vietnam, you gotta be like, oh, that's the way it goes. I mean, it's a foreign concept, but you have to get used to uh, society here. That's how it is. And uh, this over here would not even be acceptable in a place like New York. They would tape this all off and you'll have to like walk over there with a pedestrian walkway. But in Vietnam, no. They just have all this open construction, dirt, and you can walk here. <laughs> this is completely normal and acceptable. Even in Thailand, I've seen this where the sidewalk is all ripped up and you could walk here and 
the businesses will be open. Here, you'll see it. There's a, a tarp there for open business. I mean, I'd rather take this than walking in the street, to be honest. What's wrong with walking in the dirt a little bit? It's, look, this is, this is how businesses open. Construction, and the restaurant is open. Oh, Peter says, AK, the right of way in Vietnam for pedestrians is thought of. You have to walk across right away or else. Oh, good one. Okay. So, uh, there's no pedestrian crossing here, but it looks like people still cross anyway to go there. Do I risk it? Yeah, let's go. That's the tallest building in Hanoi, Landmark 72, right here. Oh gosh, there's not even a pedestrian crosswalk here. These people are crossing over here. Uh-oh. This is hard mode. Can I cross this street, folks? Right now is the best time to cross the street. Okay, let's do it folks, New York style. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. You go with the traffic light. Not that hard, folks. Who thought I wasn't going to make it? Uh, there's a crosswalk here where we got shrubbery blocking the edge of the curb. Wait, there is no crosswalk here. It's just a stop line or maybe a suggestion line because it's Vietnam, right? 
I got eight seconds. Let's see if uh, they'll stop for me. Red light. I'm gonna wait till this gets a green light though before I go. Beep, beep. All right, we got uh, 12 seconds. This is easy to cross, folks, compared to the other one I did. Here, there's, at least there's a stoplight. All right, green. I'm walking here after this scooter. Woo! Oh, that was so hard, man. There were scooters coming my way, cutting in front of me. Nothing happened there. But look, now that I crossed here, this, this is such a bad design. Now, <laughs> I gotta go here and then go around to get to that sidewalk over there. Here in Vietnam, pedestrians don't have any thought. It's all about the motorbike here. Okay. Woo! Finally made across the street. Remember it says breathe. I mean, I wasn't even nervous throughout any part of that. Except when my microphone came off and I had to pick it up. So far, it seems uh, okay over here. We got a pretty wide sidewalk, even though it's not the best because of like elevation changes and cracks sometimes, but I'll take it. There's a crosswalk here, no light.
a light would definitely help there. Even here, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Even with a crosswalk, if you're looking straight ahead and not looking beneath you, you could stumble over this, you could fall into that. I'll tell you something, um, being in Vietnam has become, has made me become a much more aware pedestrian. I thought I was, uh, like experienced walking in streets and sidewalks until I came to Vietnam or Thailand even. Thailand was like an introductory to Vietnam. Actually, I don't even think uh, Walking around in Vietnam is that difficult comparing to driving one of these motorbikes. I've been on a few motorbike taxis and I've experienced some close calls with some inattentive drivers, like cutting people off and not paying attention. So you can imagine being on a motorbike or driving if you think walking around is hard. The Mighty Bowl with $4.99. Shout out from New York. Thank you for the walk. Appreciate the Mighty Bowl. Thanks so much. Glad you're tuning in here. Look, there's a pedestrian crossing signal. This is revolutionary. But not one here. Here you're on your own. Oh yeah, I love it, the green walking man. Actually doesn't even look like they're walking. It looks like they're standing. <laughs> hey, they have a signal here too. That's awesome. Now have them installed in all the other thousands of intersections in Vietnam that need them. Or mid-block crossings too. It would definitely be helpful.
At least as maybe as time will go on, they will. It will be nice. There's certainly a lot of um, high-rise buildings along here, this corridor. We have to wait for the pedestrian signal to change. If it ever does. Flick Hunter with 699. Hello from Toronto. Really enjoying your walk, especially the high wire act that is street crossings. Well, we're seeing a lot of them here, Flick Hunter. <laughs> Thanks for the support. Appreciate the $7 Canadian. Crossing the street in Toronto is easy compared to this. Hey, what's up, the Bing Buzz? Good morning and good evening. Yeah, the uh, time is reverse for you watching in New York. Here's the nighttime. This looks kind of dangerous coming up. Good thing there's some light shining on it because you could trip easily. Throughout my adventures here in uh, Southeast Asia, I've seen so many people trip especially when I was in Bangkok in the tourist area. I think a lot of people weren't used to the conditions of the sidewalks and the roads and they were stumbling over a lot of obstacles. It's a really nice tower. The Vina Kamin Tower. I wonder if it has any relation to the Vin Group, which is the largest real estate company in Vietnam. No, I'm afraid I haven't encountered any dangerous animals here. Then again, I haven't really ventured off into like the countryside 
uh, Vietnam either. There's a big hotel here, the Grand K. Crosswalk. This is a pretty big hotel. I like the design of it too. You can see the elevator going up the shaft. Ten seconds until this traffic gets a green light and I should get a pedestrian crossing too. Let's hope. Well, not yet. When is this going to change for me? I would have walked by now, but I don't know, I want to see the timing of this pedestrian signal. Wait! I think it did change to green, but it got brighter. Hey! The green crosswalk signal was broken, and it just stayed the red standing man the whole time. It's just that it was more dim. They need to fix that. All right, now I know when uh, the red standing man gets more dim, that's when it's a green crosswalk signal. And I kind of knew it. I was like, oh, it seems like it should turn at this time because the green light was over here, but it never did. Yes, Andre, I do notice the air pollution. It's not favorable. I put it that much uh, that way. Okay, five seconds. Watch, it's gonna get less dim. What is this, folks? It, the red standing man disappeared and reappeared. It's just darker. 
Hanoi needs to fix this. It would be better if the bulb was completely out. Then they'll be like, oh, I think it's out, but it's the first time I've ever seen it get less bright and still show the red standing man or the don't walk signal. This is a table tennis center. Wow. Table tennis review. By the way, here's a public restroom. I'm not sure how sanitary it is in here. But at least there is one. Bill says, when do you eat? Um, usually before and after the live streams. Sometimes I make my schedule around when I want to make content. Hanoi coffee looks pretty interesting. Lead says, interesting tennis center. I had no idea tennis was popular. Well, more specifically, table tennis. Yeah, Jerry, you're right. I did eat at that cafe before I started this live stream. Bun me doner kebab for 15,000 or 20,000. Yeah, Sarah, it does look like a business district to me. I don't think this road really continues anymore. We were on it for a good portion, but looks like I'm gonna have to turn off. Let's see, there's a park nearby. If I turn left here, I'll reach the park. Yes, Sarah, that was a big uh, change. 
from business district to residential. Ooh, it's dark here. Let's not walk over here. I'd rather go up there and then make a right. Amendra says keen to watch the Food Street videos would be fun. Yeah, you could watch some when I do uh, Action Kid Extra. Yeah, there's a much better street to walk on. It's busier and more bright. Sarah says, turn around, don't get mugged. Well, I don't think getting mugged was the least of my concerns. My concern was like not seeing the ground and tripping and falling. Well, this is so much better. He says excellent safety awareness by avoiding dark areas. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend anyone to walk there unless you like live in the area. Much better to go here. So the park is actually coming up. Right on the corner here. Uh, bow here, which is beef pho. Okay, this seems like a dangerous place to cross. Let's do it over here. Okay.
We're here in the park now. I wish I had my flashlight, but it's lit by the lake, just not over here. I don't know why the lights aren't turned on over here though. Maybe the, there's a power um, short here or something. But the other side of the lake looks fine. Fireflies, folks. Let's walk over there where the light is, where there's more people. Adam says, no torch light, use your phone light. I don't really even need to. This is a nice park. Thank you, Prusy. Great, great camera quality, even in the dark like this. Yeah, since it's kind of dark here, I'm gonna turn my phone this way towards the lake so you get a better view. There's still enough light for me to see the ground and see all the, um, the cracks and uneven surfaces, so you don't have to worry about that. But I am going to be forced to end this live stream soon anyway because of my data cap. Do you think this is dangerous at all, folks? 
seems to me people here are having a lot of fun. Roller skating, skateboarding. Alright everyone, I think I'm going to start winding down my live stream here. I'll just get a um, car service to go back from here. Hope you enjoyed this live stream. If you did, then hit the like button, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Take care.